so I found him. Andy Pollock, the Anglo File Irishman, walking Belfast of Dublin to mark the centenary of the Somme and the Easter Rising and the Reflect. Chat to people and then he's gonna write a book about it. I was panicking. How are you, How are you? Yes, good. Nice to see a film in your face. I was panicking, I'd missed you. Do you think that people in this part of Ireland have any real fellow feeling with people in the other part of Ireland? No, not at all. Uh, and stuff. And, um, sorry, it's just sending over to my friend here. Farewell, Benny. I'm, uh, I'm walking from Belfast to Dublin. And it's, it's to reflect on both the centenary of the Somme and the Rising, isn't it? Well, it's, it happens to be taking place in 2016. Yes. I'm starting here and I'm yeah. ending in the Garden of Remembrance yeah. in Dublin. But the, what I'm doing really is to, I'm going to walk and talk to people along the way to try and get a glimpse into what the state of Ireland, North and South, in 2016. Yeah. So we're we're seeing Andy Pollock away here and uh, escorting him on the first leg of his journey is Dr. Paul Nolan. Or is it Professor? It, it's just Paul Nolan. Oh sorry. Okay. <laughs> so Paul, yeah. you're fascinating. Some of your reports you've done have been sort of um, seismic. Um, what are you cooking up for us at the moment? Well, I ran out very flattered. <laughs> it's the first time anyone's used the word seismic, I have to say. <laughs> Some people thought they were quite good. Seismic, wow. Um, what I'm cooking up is just this walk with Andy uh, right now. Um, I'm not doing any more of the peace monitoring reports. I did those for three years. I've done a few reports since on uh, really on loyalist culture, on flags, and how to cope with flags. Um, but I'm at the stage where, to be honest, if I had any decency, uh, I'd be retired. But I still like writing. I still like researching. So I continue to do that. I continue to kind of dig into things and write little reports here and there. So that's, that's how I spend my day. Okay, so all I need to say is we're going now. We're Our, going now. And off we go. Off we go. Dublin next stop. Well, in about two and a half weeks. Me sending Andy Pollock off on his journey on foot to Dublin, 130 miles. What a fascinating story. And hopefully I've been able to add or contribute to Andy's journey and the thoughts and ideas that are circulating through his head and towards his book. And on to the next stage of the day. Oh. Okay, now I've said bye to Andy Pollock. I thought I'd do a wee feature on St George's Market since I was walking by it. So much happening here. Smoothies, fresh fish. Actual fresh lobster. Get yourself a fry. Electronic goods. Baby wear. Vacuum equipment, bags. How much are your burgers? How much are your burgers? All right, okay. We're just doing like a wee video with you two. No? All right, okay. Burgers and my grumpy burger men. Antiques. Lots of clothes and lots of cool art. Most importantly, shelter from the bloody Irish weather. Have it. 
it's now beaming sunshine right now on this Friday afternoon after it was raining, not raining, raining heavy, not raining, 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 very, very heavy and then sunny, not raining, raining and now very, very sunny. That, in a nutshell, is Irish weather. And it's fully raining again. And now it's just kind of overcast but dank and muggy. Just waiting for the sun to come back or possibly heavy rain. And there you have it, a bit of sun out. <laughs> he hates getting on film. And now it's sunny and raining at the same time. Welcome to Ireland. And there you have it, it's raining again. or if it's sunny or if it's raining or if it's not raining This guy's doing, this is the future of all this stuff. In, if I do this in five years, I'll bring him all the way to 2000 <laughs> Dublin. Right.